Welcome. Let's start the week off on the 13th. <laughs> you numerologists. Thomas Miller here on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us where we take a quick look at today's sky and often set up the week on Mondays. I hope somewhere along the weekend that you found that extra hour as we in the United States moved our clocks around again. Why don't we just leave it? Okay, I'm not going to start that. Let's talk about sunrise this morning. The sun came up with Mercury as the oracle planet about four degrees before the sun in the sky. And that means that we must be having a Mercury-Sun conjunction sometime soon, right? Because wouldn't Mercury be chasing the sun down? It catches it on Friday. But there's one other planet sitting right on the sunrise, and that is Neptune. And the sun is only three degrees away from Neptune and catches it on Wednesday. And all of this is happening in Pisces at around 25 degrees, the third decan, the third third of Pisces. And that is territory that is ruled by Mars in ancient astrology, Pluto in modern astrology. Definitely putting a little scorpionic flavor onto Pisces right now, at least where the big action is in Pisces. But don't forget Saturn. Saturn is like, if you forget me sitting over here at zero degrees Pisces, I will come get you. Of course, Mars rules Aries. You see where we're just going all over this chart. Mars rules Aries. And on Saturday, we mentioned from Ray Merriman that Jupiter and Chiron conjoined yesterday, 14 degrees Aries. And that loops us back to Pluto. You see how all these influences are in the chart right now? This is why you're feeling so wonky. This is exactly why you're feeling like, Bleh, right? So there's all this stuff that's just one thing is tied to the next to the next. So the third decanate of Pisces also is ruled by Pluto. When does it enter Aquarius? Well, it's basically there, but officially it enters next Thursday, the 23rd. I hope we get to unpack this. I fully intend to, maybe tomorrow. I put together a list of all of the protests, like major protests that are going on right now. The conflict between authoritarianism and leave me alone to live my life. The list is actually very impressive. We'll hopefully dedicate some time to that tomorrow. If not, it is so important that I might do an extra episode either tomorrow or Wednesday, but we'll get to it. But you see, Mercury, expressions, protests, four degrees away from conjoining the sun, the desire to be heard or the desire to speak, Pisces, the dual sign, leave me alone. No, we have to restrain you. You have to follow orders. You have to follow mandates. Neptune. And we're lying about it all. No, you're not anymore. We want to pull the mask off, Lone Ranger. Jupiter in Aries, the warrior sign, saying, Oh, let me bump shoulders with your deepest wounds and magnify them. And if you're not a conscious person, one of the best places to express that frustration or that tension is on the streets. Seen all the airplane fights that have been going on? No wonder people don't read the comments on social media. If you want a social media safe spot, come join our Facebook group. Fun Astrology podcast listeners on Facebook. We have a wonderful group. You have to answer questions to identify yourself as a podcast listener. If you don't, we won't approve the getting in because we want a safe place. And we don't talk like that. So don't bring it in there. It's a high energy conversation, Mercury conjoining the sun, around spirituality and living our highest timeline and being our best person. And that's what we post in that group. A lot of people in that group have become friends too, and they didn't know each other before. Now let's go back and assemble some of these pieces. So Mercury is the oracle planet. That means if you look right at sunrise, what planet is crossing over that ascendant point before the sun? So that's where I say is people are waking up right now wanting to speak or wanting to be heard. They are also having these amplified wounds because Jupiter has been applying to Chiron or moving toward Chiron for over two months. Facing our wounds has been building, building, building. And we just spent the weekend with a Scorpio moon. That's over. It moved into Sagittarius at 3.20 this morning. Eastern time, of course. There's one other thing as we're putting this together in the mix that we also have to consider, and it will start aligning directly tomorrow is Mars in Gemini squares Neptune tomorrow. So we are sitting right there on this square to Mars from all of this stacked, dense Piscean energy. And Mars in one of the other dual signs of Gemini. Also communications. So you see how this is so critically important right now? It's communication-based, communication-focused, and it's plural. 
Some are saying, you had better hear me. And some are saying, it's just a mess. I just want to live my life quietly. Leave me alone. And we haven't even brought Saturn into this, but Saturn is huge and large and in charge right now in Pisces. So if you're a teacher and you wonder why the classroom is the way it is right now, there you go. If you wonder why your coworkers are just off, there you go. You call for customer support. You realize that the person on the other end is not having a good day. Take a look at the sky as you start to cut them a little slack. So you be the leader in this. You be the conscious leader and mostly focus on love and that Neptunian high spirituality that is also part of this. Don't be sucked into the collective here. This is too good of energy to separate from and stand out in than to get drawn into the drama, all right? Wow, a great day. Love you, putting a big bear hug arm around your shoulders. Have a good one, see you back tomorrow.